Hello everybody, hi everyone, good day. My name is Sally. I'm a presenter, a YouTuber and a content creator. Please do all to subscribe to Wikmix Media on YouTube for all the latest updates of news, trending videos and everything. Also do all to follow them across all their social media platforms. Thank you. Hello lovely people, this is your boy Andy Blessing for coming Blessing for subscribing to the channel. Another entertainment episode on this platform. If you are new here, you haven't subscribed, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. The update is about Shata Wally and VGMA right now. Yeah, so Shata and VGMA, them they like divorce. I just said, huh? Yeah, so on an interview with the CEO of Shata House, uh, Mrs. Teresa Ayuwa, they went and busy and said, uh, Shatter's impact on the on the awards team will be massive. The way in which people troop in when Shatter Wally is on board is like it's massive. So that means his impact in the awards team is helpful. Like it help the awards himself. So when the museum say have they made any plans? Say they will bring back Shatter Wally on board, and the woman replies say. Uh, at first, they sent both Shatawali and Stoneboy official. Let us say they could come back because they lifted the ban. Stoneboy accepted, but Shatawali didn't. And right now, it looks like they really want to sit down with Shatawali, talk with them like peacefully, so say Mango accept and come back. So I have the interview here, and I want to take you through so say you feel listen to everything that went on during the interview. In the beginning, you spoke about how the bashing and all the things <laughs> that is associated with VGM. Yes. How did you manage the, this particular bashing? I think 2013, 2014, when Shatawale was given to you, your husband, your organization, oh. all of that. How did you um, manage it? It wasn't a pleasant experience. It was very unpleasant because um, we felt that we are partners in the industry. And we are really doing a great job of yeah. trying to promote um, Ghanaian music. We do understand that um, everybody has an opinion yeah. on who they think should have won and all of that. But we've stressed and we've emphasized that Chatter House is not responsible for the ties and who wins. That we put together a process, a three-tiered process okay. that generates the results okay. and so the results that are announced are a combination of the three processes that we've put in place and so um in those days people probably didn't understand the process and so they immediately attacked us directly mm -hmm. but we what the, the thing is that we take um all this f as feedback mm -hmm. and we always go back and review the process and make sure that we are um, tightening all the loopholes to make sure that the results that come out are more representative of the industry. Mm -hmm. But we feel that it's okay, whilst, whilst it's right, it's okay to ex express your opinion. When it goes um, overboard and gets to the point of threatening and libeling and, you know, all of that, uh, slandering and libeling and all of that, yeah. then we felt that we had to take some legal action mm -hmm. because uh, we had to protect our reputations. You know, they are what you call digital footprints. Mm -hmm. And when, 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 you, when, you, when your reputation is s smeared, mm -hmm. you know, through such a smear campaign and it's put out there in the digital space and somebody goes to Google your company, maybe they want to give you a contract or something, yeah. they Google your company and that things like Chatter House is a criminal organization. Mm -hmm. I mean, comes up. Yep. They would not be able to have that whole background information. Mm -hmm. All they know is that Chatter House is a criminal organization. Yeah. So it's important for us to put out there in that same digital space that the person who called us a criminal organization has been um, taken to court yeah. um, or sued for libel. Okay. You know? So we had to put it out there. Mm -hmm. And in some cases, we're able to get a retraction mm -hmm. from the perpetrators and we, we published those retractions as well okay. which um, at least clear that image so when it comes to um, issues of cyber bullying and, and threats and um, these kind of things you have to take action because mm -hmm. you can't let them slip mm -hmm. uh, years before we used to ignore them but when this became very serious I mean yeah. we, we were very worried that maybe some fanatic out there who just begin to take action into their own hands because mm -hmm. 
how they are feeling because mm -hmm. their artist is inciting them mm -hmm. you know so we have to really take serious action mm -hmm. about that i mean this was a situation where my kids were coming from school yeah. and telling me that this is what their friends were saying wow. about you know wow. so we realize that wow this thing is getting it's very widespread far. and yeah. if we don't do something about mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. it's not going to end well so mm -hmm. we had to take action and so the court settled mm -hmm. it yes yes it was, mm -hmm. uh, was settled in court mm -hmm. and will you will you ever accept um shatter back to vgma since we've seen stone boy come back um i think we are open to a conversation we just want to make sure that the scheme is respected and whoever whoever um, agrees to be part of the scheme, the scheme agrees to abide by the outcome mm -hmm. of the scheme and most importantly just give it that respect because we, we give every musician the necessary respect mm -hmm. and the industry must also give us that respect mm -hmm. for what we do because okay. we are collaborators in the industry so um, we are happy to sit around the table and have a decent conversation which is what we did with the Stone Boy team we okay. invited them we had a conversation, we all agreed on how to work together better for the betterment of the industry. And okay. we proceeded, but we haven't had the chance to do that with Shata Wallace. So, so Shata says that if you call him, he will be willing to do so. Will you do that? Well, we, we, will, we, will, we, will, we will explore that. Okay. We, we will explore that. I mean, we, are not, we, we want to be as inclusive as possible. Mm. So we are happy to have a conversation, but as decent as, as adults and as uh, mature people, mm. we, want to have, we can have that conversation, yeah. Okay. Is this something you've already planned doing? Well, because we made overtures which were not um, responded to, we moved on. Okay. So you actually approached we, him and yeah, At the time no that, we, um, that we reached out to... Um, to the two, we, we reached out to the two, okay. Stone Boy and Shatawale. Mm. Yeah, mm. I, I think that was um, a few years back. Yeah, yeah, we reached out to them immediately after the incident. Yes, oh. I think after a year or so, we reached out to them. Okay, and um, Stone Boy's team responded, and we had a conversation. Mm. But um, the other team they didn't respond. Okay. So we haven't had a conversation. So that means that the ban has been lifted. Oh yes. Has it officially it was, been it was, lifted? It was officially lifted. It was at the time, at the point at which it was lifted that we had mm. the meeting. Mm. Thank you very much for staying through to this end. I hope you've enjoyed today's update. What do you have to say? What do you think uh, about uh, this woman's submission? Do you think Shadawali should like make peace and like accept to say you could join the VGMA awards back or you, you think Wally for, 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 for Sean and move on? What do you say? Uh, as you always say, VGMA no they pay up. Yeah, so make you leave your mind blue in the comment section. Let's keep it clean and cool. My name is Andy Blessing for always joining. I'm out. Bye bye. Hello, guys. Welcome back to Week Mix Media. If you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Enjoy today's update.